Welcome to Screw the Commute, the entrepreneurial podcast dedicated to getting you out of the car and into the money with your host, lifelong entrepreneur and multimillionaire, Tom Antion. Hey, everybody, it's Tom here with episode 856 of Screw the Commute podcast. Today, we're going to continue our series on copywriting starting at episode 836. That's 20 episodes ago, and there's a couple little ones that aren't copywriting in there. But anytime you want to get to a back episode, you go to screwthecommute.com slash then the episode number starting at 836, 37, 38, and so forth. Little short episodes with very powerful techniques that are in, that will increase your sales. Now, today's is called Shopping Cart Sell-Through. This is, of course, all part of copywriting901.com, my massive course on copywriting, which is the number one skill in my entire 47 years in business. All right. Uh, if you like our training episodes, you can find them all at screwthecommute.com slash training. And of course, my mentor program that gives you all of this stuff for free and one-on-one -on -one tutoring with my, myself and my entire staff and all kinds of other cool stuff that nobody else <laughs> on earth would or could compete with at greatinternetmarketingtraining.com. And of course, I want you to pick up a copy of our automation ebook at screwthecommute.com slash automate free. All right, let's talk about shopping cart sell-through. One of the biggest problems people have in selling online is called shopping cart abandonment. This means someone puts something in your shopping cart to buy, and then they never checked out. This really sucks in that you got them so close to pulling the trigger and giving you money, but for some reason they just didn't check out. This reason could be they really weren't that interested, and that's not necessarily your fault. Maybe your sales letter is great, but they just didn't want the product that bad, or they were just price shoppers and put it in there in case they couldn't find a cheaper price somewhere else. I mean, who knows? A worse problem is that your checkout process was so hard, lengthy, and convoluted that they just got sick of it and left the product in the cart and went elsewhere to buy with a much easier experience. That, I must say, is your fault. Right? When's the last time you actually tested your checkout process? Most people never do, and that's a big mistake. All right, if that's your problem, fix it immediately. But today I'm going to talk about things you can do with a good shopping cart system to keep people excited about what they put in the cart to get them to actually complete the sale. I call this shopping cart sell-through. This is where at various places in the checkout process, you put sales copy specifically about what the person has put in the cart to keep them excited while filling out the mundane info needed to complete the sale. In the shopping cart system I use and promote, kickstartcart.com, there are two ways to do this. One is called the short description. And I'm going to assume that you have named your product in an exciting way, which would actually be a third way to keep them excited, but we'll save that conversation for another episode. The short description would be one or two sentences max. This isn't a big sales letter, it's, but it's, it's short copy is sometimes harder to write than long copy because you just have a little bit of time to hit them. But anyway, the short description would be one or two sentences right next to the product they have put in the cart with a massive benefit of the product. Now, here's an example from my Wake Em Up video professional speaking system. This system is guaranteed to rock your speaking world and teach you insider information that only the top 1% of speakers know. That's the little blurb. It's, it's something similar to that. I just kind of did it from memory. But that's the blurb that's underneath the title of the product in the cart when they have to make their decision to actually put their credit card in. So you need to write similar text for your products and have a shopping cart system that can display that when people are close to pulling their wallet out. The next thing you can do in kickstartcart.com anyway, is to display an entire sales page in the cart. This is after your main sales page that got them to the cart, all right? To re-emphasize a ton of major benefits of your product or service. 
This is generally used on more expensive products. Now, I explained expensive versus cheap products in the last episode, 855. ScrewTheCommute.com slash 855. I generally use the yes technique in this part of the shopping cart. I even have check boxes to make the page interactive. Here's an example. Yes, Tom, I want to get standing ovations around the world. Yes, I want to get tons of repeat engagements. Yes, I want to have them rolling in the aisles with my humor and get super great evaluations. And it goes on on with a whole bunch of things like that. So make sure you have a shopping cart system that will do these things and write things up for your products and services. And you're going to reduce the chance significantly that people will bail out without checking out. This is all part of copywriting901.com, the number one skill in my entire business career, 47 years. And even (laughs) since I was 10 years old doing side hustles when I was a little kid. Now, of course, if you want this and access to me and my entire team one-on-one for a year, an immersion trip to the retreat center and a scholarship to my school that you can gift or use yourself, all kinds of stuff that nobody on earth has, check out my mentor program at Great internetmarketingtraining.com. Implement these uh, these copywriting techniques, and I'm telling you, your sales are going to go up. All right, we'll catch you all in the next episode. See you later.